Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a sort of autumn Primark haul with a try on. So let's get cracking. Ah, yeah. So first, can I just apologise for this T-shirt? This is another one of the T-shirts that's going to be donated. I feel like I'm wearing my nightie, right? <laughs> Honestly, it's huge. I, I went in the kitchen earlier on. I thought, this is like... Honestly, this don't fit me at all anymore. I'm, mad, I'm not mad about that because I have been desperately trying to get back to the size I wore before all that happened. But still, honestly, I could have changed it up before I came on camera, couldn't I? Never mind, I'll donate it after I've taken it off. Right, so I went back to Primark because um, I had a quite a few bits to take back from my last haul because I had a really big haul last time. Um, and while I were in there, I was having a look around and I were only in the little one. Right, so I live, there are two Primarks near to me, Bradford for a start and then Leeds. Okay, now Leeds, the Primark there is massive absolutely mahoosive right um but i didn't go there i just went over to bradford because i was meeting my daughter so anyway went over there and had a look round. when i got in there loads of autumn stuff absolutely loads of autumn stuff knits and jackets and all sorts of stuff so I didn't have that much time before I was going to meet my daughter. So I've only got a few bits, but what I've got, I absolutely love. Although there is one controversial item. Just give you that heads up. Right, okay, so I'll show you what I got. Put my gigs on. There, dear. Right, yo. So the first thing I bought were this pair of jeans. Now, I get these as sort of a beigey cream colour pair of jeans. But they, were, they had them styled really nice in there with all sorts of other bits and pieces that were all autumnal. I thought, I don't normally go for a light jean, you know, when it gets to like the autumn. Why not? Why, why don't I? So I picked these up anyway. I bought these in a size 14 and these were £17. Now, the reason I went for a 14 is because they've got next to no stretch in them at all. And I am, at the moment, right, so I'm five foot eight, and at the moment I'm somewhere between a 12 and a 14, for those of you that don't know. Um, and especially when it comes to jeans, if there's no, if they're very rigid, I have to get a 14, because my widest bit is round my middle. I absolutely hate this t-shirt, why am I wearing it? Oh dear. Anyway, right, so these are very, very long, love the leg length, skinnies, but I love this detail at the sort of hem. They've got like this kick um, opening, you know, like this split at the bottom of both of the legs on the outside. They've got a real button, real zip, and it's like a silver detailing. Real pockets at the front and real pockets at the back. And they are just in this sort of lovely cream colour. I absolutely loved them. Hence why I picked those up. I thought they were a good deal and they're nice quality jeans, very thick. They've got a bit more stretch around the leg, a little bit of stretch in the leg, absolutely none around the waistband. So I got those in a 14 and like I say, they were £17 bargain. And then they had a whole load of these tops and I picked up this sort of toffee brown colour. Right, absolutely loads of these. So it's like a puff sleeve, short sleeve. It's quite high neck at the front and at the back. Um, it's got a little bit of a scoop, but not really very low, you know what I mean? And it goes down and out. So it's got this curved hem at the front and the back, but these side bits go quite high. And then it's got a stitched detail, sort of where the front and the back join. I really liked it. And bargain eight pound. I bought this in a small. Now I suppose, I suspect these are supposed to be oversized but i didn't want it to be massively oversized because i wanted it to have a short sleeve because of the high neck i find if i wear something with a very high neck and a long sleeve i feel a bit what my mum used to say <laughs> my mum's geordie she used to say i felt hacked up right so that's my mum's saying hacked up anyway right if i've got a long sleeve and a high neck so i didn't want it to be too oversized because i didn't want these sleeves to come down my arms too low so anyway bought that like i say they had loads and loads of different colors did i tell you the price it were eight pounds yeah 
eight pounds. And they have loads of colours in this. It must be a style that they're doing, you know, in every colour under the sun. So yeah, really like that colour though. If this works out for me, I'll definitely get more because it's such a good price. Then I bought a couple of knits. Right, so I bought this Cardi first. It's got long sleeves and a collar, which is not a style I normally go for, but I just loved it. And then fake tortoiseshell buttons down the front. How many has it got? Five fake tortoiseshell buttons down the front. But it is the softest flipping thing I think I've ever, ever tried in my life. You know what I mean? Absolutely loved it. It's quite short in the body. And these really open, so it is a cardi. I bought this in a medium and it was £13. But like I say, it is so soft and fluffy i'm really hopeful for that one i hope that works out for me because that is you know definitely something i'll be wearing that all through the autumn i think love it and then the other knit i got were this blue one which is a longer cardigan i mean i like a cardi i'm at an age now where i'm a cardi woman you know what i mean so anyway it's got long sleeves i bought it in this lovely sort of uh blue color Anyway, it's like this lovely blue colour and it's got buttons. It's a V-neck at the front. It also has uh, fake tortoiseshell buttons down it, but it's very long, patch pockets on the front, just plain on the back, you know, but very long. I bought this in a small and it was £15. The reason I bought it in a small is because I didn't want it to be a cardigan that were like, you know, massively oversized on me. I, Sometimes when I put those cardigans on, they're nice when I'm in the house, but I can't get a coat over them when I'm leaving. So I definitely didn't want it to be too big on me. So I got it in a small anyway. So really looking forward to trying that one on. Okay, then I bought this little top and they also had this in every colour under the rain, you know, in the rainbow. Honestly, they did. So it's just like, I'm just waiting for alarm, you know, fire engine or whatever it is to go past police car whatever right it's a v-neck at the front and at the back with just like a stitched uh seam down the front and the back and then it's got this little frill bit on the bottom it's quite wide on the strap so no sleeves at all like i say they have loads of different colors in this even in the bradford store which is not the biggest one i bought this in a small and it were only four pounds so if that works out for me, I'll definitely get some more of those because I think they're a bargain. But um, yeah, it's very thin material. You know, it is quite see-through. But I thought with the colour and everything and a nude bra underneath, that might be all right. So we'll see what that looks like. Then this is a controversial item because I am aware that some people hate raggy jeans, ripped jeans. And this pair of ripped jeans is very ripped. I bought these in a 12 these aren't stretchy either I, I suspect these aren't even gonna go on i'll be stunned if these go on why did i buy them in a 12 anyway they were 17 pounds they are very rigid around the top and very very ripped going down the legs look at those really ripped and they've got to turn up at the bottom they are wider legs than i normally go for and the rips are down both legs, just down the front, both with a turn up. They've got a real button, real zip, real pockets at the front and real patch pockets at the back. I thought I'd give them a go, you know, mix it up a bit, <laughs> cause some controversy. Um, yeah, they might look nice or they might look shockingly bad. We'll see anyway. And then my last item is probably my favourite item out of all of these things. I absolutely love it. It was the thing that inspired me getting some autumn winter stuff. And it's this coat. I bought it in a 12. It were only £25. It is a lined coat in this lovely sort of dog tooth check with browns and uh, black. Is it black or navy? I think it's black. Browns and black. Even the, under the collar, it's got that lovely, you know, like uh, detail. So it's like, a, is it a reefer jacket? Reefer jacket. And it's got a little split at the bottom of both the sleeves. Sleeves are lined. It's got two pockets on it and uh, two button detail. And it's sort of three quarters. It's also got this thing at the back here. 
that you just unpick that and then it's open at the back you know you've got like um an opening at the back of it absolutely love it. it's no shoulder pads or anything love the color on it and really love those colors i thought that'll be a really nice coat for going into the autumn it's not too heavyweight feels like a bit of a wool mix you know but i thought it'd be really nice a really nice coat and for 25 pounds i thought it were a bargain so that's all my clothes from primark anyway so i'll insert the try-ons now and then i'll come back to you Okay, so these are the first two things from Primark and I love them. I love this little top. I don't mind that it's an eye neck because it's a short sleeve, so I don't feel too like covered up in it. And um, I don't mind these little puffy sleeves at all. I love the curved hem. It is quite creasy, but you know, I get that a lot of things at Primark are. And um, I love it that it covers my bottom a bit at the back. And, um, you know, it don't make me feel too exposed in this area either. Uh, so, yeah, very happy with this top. And I would definitely consider getting this in one of the other colours. I like it so much. And it's such good value as well. Quite like the fabric on. It don't feel uncomfortable or in any way unpleasant. Really like it. These jeans, I'm glad I didn't size down in these because they would have gone nowhere near because these are fitting me. Because they're very rigid, you know, I was aware that I probably needed the 14 um, and I'm glad I've got it. I love these splits at the hem of each of the um, legs. I really like them. These feel like they fit me perfectly, these jeans. So incredibly happy with them. With both of these, I love them. Absolutely love them. But I mean, I don't know what they look like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, it, they might look dreadful, but I really, really like them. I love the colours as well. And I love the colours together. I could see me wearing these quite a bit. So I'll just try the cardi over the top of these. Okay, I love this as well. Right, you can see that the sleeves are a bit puffy in here, but I would pull the sleeves up of the cardi anyway to cover that. I love these fake tortoiseshell buttons on it you know and the blue and I love the blue with this sort of toffee whatever it is caramelly colour top I probably to be honest I probably wear this with a lower neck top because I think the high neck with a longer sleeve is a bit covered up for me but I've just put it on over these just to show you so but I do like it with the jeans very much I think I like the neckline on this cardi as well. And I'm glad I got this size because it doesn't feel like it's too voluminous on me. So very happy with this as well. I've really liked all these so far. So I will try the other outfit on or the other jeans and top. You know, the jeans that I, I get will be controversial, but I'll try those on anyway. Okay, this top is an out and out no from me. It's just making me feel like me. It's just hitting at the wrong place. Um, the V's at the wrong place. I don't like this seam down the front. This is a no top from me. Sadly, but it is a no top from me. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely do not like this. It honestly it's making me feel like I look about three stone heavier than I am so uh yeah no <laughs> is the truth and out and out no now these jeans um I might have been a bit ambitious with the 12 to be honest because I've had to like prize my body into them can you see how tight they are but aside from that the legs I love right I know it's controversial but I absolutely love these jeans. I may size up in these, you know, and get the 14. Because they're so rigid, there's just no stretch at all in them. And they feel very, very tight. Very tight. I can feel like it's squashing. All my middle is squashed below and above the waistband. So, yeah, I think I would have to change these for a 14. But I, I really like them. I like where they come on my legs as well because they're turned up so you could turn them down they'll be extra long the only thing i'll give you a warning when if you're buying a pair of these and you go to put them on just be careful where you put your foot as you're putting it through the leg because 
I nearly caught my foot in this bit and ended up ripping the lower half of the um, jean off. And the only other thing I would say is, do they make my knees look wrinkly? Because if they're making my knees look like old lady knees, I don't want to be emphasising those, you know what I mean? So, um, this outfit, not as successful as the first one at all. But anyway, I'll try the cardi over it. Okay, I absolutely love this cardi. It's so soft, stretchy and cosy. It feels lovely on. Honestly, I, I absolutely love this cardigan. Yeah, look at the length of the sleeves as well. You could have them right down. So, I love it. I, you know, over not over this top. But maybe over a pair of skinny jeans and a black sort of top or a darker top. I think it would look really cute. Absolutely love it. Would be very happy in this for the um, autumn. You know, very happy in it. So super happy I got this one. Love these fake tortoiseshell buttons on. I'm always happy with that detail. Like that it's got a little collar. And it just feels really cosy really really cozy so very happy with it and i'm going to try the coat on over this but i would never wear that coat over any any of this outfit but i will try it on anyway okay i absolutely love this coat as well i could see this you know oh my goodness the pockets are real that's fantastic but i could see this over any number of outfits you know i think it would dress up really nice it's like a, a thicker way of, a, of doing a blazer look you know it'll be warmer in this than in a lot of the other things it's okay around the back feels okay it's a lovely coat and at the price as well you know i think it's fantastic it fits me perfectly look so i don't feel like it's too tight feels like the um sleeves are perfect length I just wish it wasn't over this outfit. It'd look really nice over a pair of black trousers or even like a brownie sort of trouser um, and a, a nice blouse, you know, like a shirt or something like that. I think it's lovely. I'm really, really pleased with this coat. Just not with the outfit underneath it. So please forgive that. But yeah, it fits me perfectly on my shoulders as well which is great, you know, because often to get a, um, a coat to fit around my back, the shoulders are coming off me, you know, off my shoulders. So I'm very, very happy with this one. I love it. I think it's lovely in autumnal as well. You know, I could imagine it over burgundies, browns, sort of gingery colours. It would look really nice. Not over this outfit, like I keep saying. But anyway, so I'm very happy with my stuff from Primark, or with a lot of them anyway. Hiya. So I've done something I don't normally do, and I've looked at the footage before I came back to you. Okay. So I'll tell you what I think now. I've seen the footage. Okay. I quite like this little top here. I do quite like it. Um. It felt nicer than maybe it looked, but I actually quite like it. I think it might be quite a versatile little top to sling on, you know, with a pair of jeans. Love the colour of it. Thought it were a good price at £8, so quite like that one. I like these jeans, but did I look like I'd got wrinkly knees in them? Because I'm aware you could see my knees in these, which I, I didn't notice when I had them on. But I definitely noticed when I looked at the try-ons. So, um, yeah, I like them, but uh, can you see my wrinkly knees? There's the question. And are they nice enough to keep? Because if you can see my wrinkly knees, and that's the most obvious thing, I don't want to wear them, thanks. This cardigan, love this, very happy with it. I think over something very fitted or structured, this would look lovely. And it is certainly very soft. I think it'll, I'm hoping it's not one of the ones that when you wash it, it all mats up. I don't think it is, but I really like that one anyway. I love the coat. I think over a pair of skinnies or a pair of black trousers or even a pair of like um, tan trousers, 
and you know sort of tans and browns gingers stuff like that that coat is going to be lovely and what i like is it's got this chocolate brown lining as well so that'll sort of help with you know that sort of color palette really i think it's a really nice coat i definitely want to keep that i also like this cardi really really like this cardi um i think it's going to be really versatile i wish i brought in another color really because i the problem is with this, I love this blue, but I, I just don't know that I've got a lot of things that go with this blue, but I, I mean, I, I like it very, very much. And then we come to these, having seen the footage. Oh my dears, what were I thinking? Forget everything I said. I look a sight in this, right? Absolutely look a sight. I knew I looked a sight in that when I was actually trying it on. So that is definitely going back four pound or no, it would be four pound wasted if I bought that because I would never try that on again. Similarly, these are going back, right? Having seen the footage, I look like I'm trying to get down with the kids. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, right? No, <laughs> no, no, no. They're absolutely shockingly bad on me. And this has cured me of anything this ripped. I don't mind a bit of distressing, but never again am I going to try on a pair like that. No, that is doing the opposite of what I want to be doing in my wardrobe. I just look to sight. I see young lasses in them. Why did I think I'd be all right in them? For a start, where the holes are, you can see my wrinkly knees, my stretch marks, my cellulite, everything, right? And second off, I look, honestly, that's what I, I when I saw myself on footage, I thought, yeah, you, you look a dog's dinner, Kim. An absolute dog's dinner in those. Not a chance. Not on your Nelly. Never, right? I can't wait to take them back. I'm slightly embarrassed that I even bought them. The lassie behind the counter must have been thinking, oh, she's buying these for her daughter. Honestly, I'm proper shown up. But anyway, um, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!